In this next video, I'll be demonstrating cuts on vegetables, sh showing the same common techniques that I showed you on the potatoes. Here in this video, you'll see that I'm cutting a fine julienne and a small dice. The ju fine julienne is smaller than a batonet. Make sure you protect your fingers, work nice and slow. In this next video, I'll be demonstrating and how to cut an end. I'm going to cut off the end that doesn't have the root. The root stays here. And go come. I peel off the first couple layers. Sometimes you want to peel off those first couple layers because if they're not cleaned very well, there could be some dirt, there could be some growth of like mold or whatever, they could just be old. Sometimes you just have to take those extra layers off. There's a couple different ways to cut an onion. Um, you could do slices on onion, you can do uh, dices. Um, the dices are like, there's a couple variations on the dices I'll show you. And like you want to make sure you have a flat surface so most people just cut them in half so a classical a classical dice on a uh, on an onion you'd make uh, depending on the size of the onion you'd make at least one two or three horizontal cuts into your onion so again protect your fingers make sure they're nice and even make nice even cuts and then you make a cut through the length of the onion this way. And depending on the size of the dice that you want, um, you'll keep those lines, those cuts closer or farther together depending on the size. And then you'll just make little cuts down and that will give you a nice dice. It's like that. Because of the layers on the onion, the they'll fall they'll fall apart nicely. And on classical cuisine, you want to save as much of the onion as you can, so you take a little bit pieces of those roots off and discard the rest. Those will go here. Another way to dice would be. Just making horizontal cuts like so. And this also uses a stacking technique. You can just make your cuts this way. It's safer for me. Don't have to worry about that knife slipping, cutting your finger. It might take a little more time than the previous cut, but sometimes it's worth it. I always actually cut this way. I find it, I find it a lot safer. I can actually cut a little bit faster this way than the other way. I get nervous cutting. <laughs> I always got nervous cutting the other way. So okay. And the other cuts you can do with an onion are slices. For me, it's easier to cut this end off, cut the root end off. Then you just make slices like so. And you can make those as big as or as small as you want, depending on what you're looking for. See, gar garlic, you can do a couple different ways as well. Um, the most common way, you want to take that, that peel off the garlic, so just want to give like a nice push on that garlic. 
Sometimes I push a little too hard and smash it to smithereens, but the skin comes right off. And from there you generally do like a nice, uh, generally want to cut it real small. It depends on like how much garlic flavor you want. That's where the small knife comes in handy. You cut it basically the same way you cut an onion, do like the horizontal cuts and then just chomp it right up. But again, I, I usually like to use my chef knife so I can, you can chop it finer. Um, the best way to do chopping, the best way to do that is you can keep one hand here so your hand's not touching the blade, not touching that edge. And depending on how small or how large you want your garlic, you just make a few passes on that and chop it up.